Well, packing lunches can be a chore, and finding healthy things kids will actually eat is sometimes impossible. I know it is at my house. So with back to school on Tuesday, what does a parent do? Dr. Merrill Held is here from Medical Weight Loss Clinic with some ideas to sneak in the healthy stuff and make lunch more fun. I don't know if you can do it at my house, but let's give it a try. All right, well, let me show you what I've done. So the first thing I did was I upgraded the classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich mm -hmm. to make it a little bit healthier. Replaced white bread with whole wheat bread. Mm -hmm. That whole wheat is very important. It's gonna help those kids feel full, stabilize their blood sugar, help their cholesterol, and even help their digestive system. So you want to get them some fiber. And it doesn't really taste that different, I mean, you know, than the white bread. It's, it's something they'll get used to really easily. There are some soft ones out now. You just got to look in the grocery store. Okay. So the next thing I did was I got rid of the sugary jam. I've replaced it with whole foods. Mm -hmm. So we have some fresh cut strawberries in here, but you could use bananas. Mm -hmm. You could use peaches. Most kids do really well with this. Um, you know, for those who really need to have a spreadable, you can get 100% fruit spread and you'll still be cutting out the sugar. Yeah. By the time most kids get to be about four to eight years old, we're talking about 21 teaspoons of extra sugar a day. Oh. So we want to try and cut that out. And one really easy place to do that is going to be with your drink. Yeah. So, you know what? It's just a better idea to stick with water and milk, unsweetened milk. You get most of your sugars in your sweetened milk, your fruit juices, your sodas, your sports drinks. Do they label milk as unsweetened very often in the grocery store? Because I don't think I've ever noticed unsweetened milk. Well, what you'll find is that you have vanilla milks or chocolate milks. Yeah. You want to do your best to avoid those and just stick with the plain milk. Okay. All right. Let's move forward. Over here we have uh, hard-boiled eggs some vegetables, fruit, and whole wheat crackers. You know, eggs are a great option for school lunches. You can prepare them on a Sunday. They're good for you all week long. Mm. And there's about six grams of protein in each egg. So right here, you've got 12 grams of protein. And what this will do is it'll keep your children full through the afternoon. Protein digests slower than the carbohydrates do. So if you have hard-boiled eggs in here, it's really going to help those children through the afternoon classes. Also, it gives them the protein amino acids they need to grow strong. I like that little box it's in, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they've got all sorts of awesome yeah, boxes Yeah, they're all different days. this year. Okay, great. Uh, over here, what I've done is I've taken out mayonnaise. This is a serving of mayonnaise. It's about two tablespoons. I've replaced it with guacamole. Oh, yum. Avocados are really nutrient-dense. They've got vitamin B, vitamin C, folate, fiber. Um, you know, these are going to help you cut down on the saturated fat in that mayonnaise. So you can cut down by one third or one half, and you're also going to be saving yourself about 50 calories per serving for the avocado. All right, what do we have up here? Over here we have hummus and, and vegetables and fruits to dip. Yeah, lots of kids like hummus. You know, kids like to dip. Yeah, they do. So, kids are dippers. So this gives all sorts of variety of different colors to keep their nutrients and their vitamins well-rounded. Mm -hmm. And here? This is about those picky eaters. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of picky eaters. I've got a couple of picky eaters. Well, could you <laughs> What do you got, grapes? <laughs> Once you engage your children in the food, they're going to do a lot better with eating it. You know, if you get them to make their own vegetable or fruit kebabs in the evening, what that's going to do is get them engaged. Once they're engaged, the food is fun. They're going to be more apt to eat it. Better yet, take the kids to the grocery store with you, let them pick out their vegetables for the week, and then they can take ownership of those choices. Chips right. are chips, vegetables, pretzels. <laughs> you do what you gotta do, one right? More, one more. And, and for those very picky kids, when you know that you have to get some nutrients in there, you can always slip it into some of their favorites, like a fruit smoothie. You can mm -hmm. add a handful of spinach, some carrots into spaghetti sauce. Uh, what kid doesn't like zucchini bread? That's a nice zucchini. That is. Homegrown. With Homegrown. This little, with this Made little box, you're good to go. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Good Thank ideas. You. Good ideas for lunch.